two more players that are going to come over here and talk to you guys. Jeremy Affeld and Javier Lopez. Let's hear it for them. Gracias, gracias. Como están ustedes? I just got a couple people I want to thank. I'm going to keep this short and sweet and keep the party moving. One, Sub San Francisco! Hey, all right. So thank you to you guys. We wouldn't be here without you. I also want to take an opportunity to thank the Kansas City Royals for drafting Jeremy Affel and letting us have him. I also would like to thank the other half of the, uh, well, the other half of the broadcast team. They bring it into the house every night for a lot of you. And uh, I personally want to thank uh, the girl that brings it to you guys in the clubhouse and has uh, participated in quite too many, I think, champagne bass, but it's okay. Amy J! Now, Jeremy Affel, please. Hola. So. Right, right. Uh, well, you know what? I, you know, I know we've been talking about a lot of guys, and uh, and we were joking on the plane. We were thinking maybe if we did the ring this year, we wouldn't even put our names on the side of it. We just put Mad Bum on the side of the rings. Uh, but uh, but because he's getting a lot of credit, and it, and he he deserves a lot of credit. But I honestly, in all seriousness, you know, I've been a part uh, of an awesome bullpen. And I know we don't get a lot of credit, so I'm going to go ahead and kind of uh, pump the bullpen a little bit. Uh, I, I personally am really, really proud to be a part of an unbelievable bullpen. All the guys that went out with us this year and competed in the back end have been awesome. I, I got to play with four guys, uh, Casillo, Romo, Hav, so three. Well, I won't count myself, but four. Uh, that I have actually got to be here for three rings and be a part of three rings because of these, because of the help of these guys. So I'm very proud of this bullpen. I hope you are too. Yeah. Now I got asked a lot of questions in the playoffs this year. And the common question is, what do we need to do to win a ring? We didn't need to do anything. We had, we had to want to do something. We didn't need to win in Pittsburgh. We didn't need to beat the Nationals. We didn't need to beat St. Louis. We didn't need to go beat Kansas City in their house in Game 7. We wanted to beat Pittsburgh. We wanted to beat the Nationals. We wanted to beat St. Louis. And we wanted Game 7. Como what? I know Como, too. Uh, you know, I saw, and my last thing here, I want to tell you, I, you know, we're wearing these sweatshirts. You know, when we go into Kansas City both times, we saw, the lo we saw the phrase, you know, take the crown. And that's what royalty wears. They wear that. This is a dynasty. So I agree with Mr. Sabian. I really do. I don't care what they say, a dynasty. If you've been on a Major League Baseball field, if you've come to a San Francisco Giants game, we all know how hard it is to win these games. And so I'm proud to stand next to three trophies. I'm proud to stand up here next to all these gentlemen behind me who played their hearts out to win this ring. The front office, our families, our fans, we can all wear a different shirt. And our shirts say what a dynasty wears. It says, kiss the ring. And that's what we wear, and I'm proud of it. 